Hi, this is you with your Six Figure Mentor, helping you become the person that you were always meant to be. And this is a series that we're going, this is part two of a three-part series on how to create your own Shark Tank. Now, in part one, I talked about how the number one reason why I love investing in private companies is you can make the most money. Part two is going to talk about why you can have the most fun. Now, during this part, I'm also going to share two biggest mistakes that baby sharks make when they first jump into the waters and how you can avoid them and why by avoiding these two things, you, you're guaranteed to have more fun. And in part three, in the third part, I'm going to talk about how you can make the biggest difference. And I'm going to share with you a strategy on how, no matter where you are in the stage in the game, you can actually get involved in investing in stocks and in companies that have a 10x return potential on your investment. So why is investing in private companies more fun? You know, I have a lot of people that it's their first time. Maybe they have the money, they've had the money for a while, but they're thinking about making the big mistake of mutual funds, big no-no, don't do that. Some people say, huge, uh, I'm stressed out at the idea of investing. I've never done it before. I have $150,000, I've got $50,000, or some people come up to me and they say, I have $5,000, I got a new tax return, I don't know what to do with it. And they're gonna do something stupid like buy a brand new car. The first major mistake that baby sharks make is they bite off more than they can chew. Imagine a baby shark watching this big shark, Mark Cuban or uh, Mr. Wonderful on Shark Tank, and they see a similar type investment swim by and it's a monster big eye tuna you know 300 pound big tuna a baby shark can't handle that kind of investment so what this translates into in biting off more than you can chew is spending more than you can actually afford so you know wherever you are whether it's a hundred fifty fifty thousand or five thousand dollars that you have to invest in something Make sure it's something that you can handle. If you were to not get it back for the next three, five years, that you would be okay. All right? So wherever you are, a super angel investor with $150,000 to $500,000, a mid-sized angel investor, which you can get involved in angel investing anywhere, the average angel investor has invests between ten dollars to $77,000. If you think about it, that's within reach of most Americans. Or if it's a micro or a seed investor, which is right around $5,000, make sure you know what kind of investor you are. To find out more about the exact uh, definitions, uh, go ahead and click this link below. This is my blog right here, and it will go over general descriptions. These are average numbers. So make sure you know what kind of investor you are and you bite, don't bite off more than you can chew. Okay? If you avoid that mistake, it's going to be a lot more fun. The second key mistake that baby sharks make, and if you avoid this, that will all make it really fun, is don't chase fish. When you watch Shark Tank, you don't see Robert Hirschefeck driving his Aventador up to every garage knocking to see, hey, are you guys uh, making anything, a uh, thingamabob, where I could maybe sell it in Bed Bath Beyond? You know, you don't see Barbara Corcoran checking Craigslist. What do you see? You see five investors sitting in plush chairs like a boss. The double doors open and the entrepreneurs come to them. Do not chase one big project. Work on multiple projects. Last month, I went to a mentoring conference, and we had none other than the Donald, Donald J. Trump, uh, in the building, being interviewed by one of my mentors from afar, one of my heroes, Mr. Darren Hardy, author of The Entrepreneurial Roller Coaster. And he interviewed him, and he asked the best questions, the questions that I wanted to know. He shared one of the biggest pitfalls that investors make, whether you're investing in real estate, whether you're investing in private stocks, public stocks, or golf courses, resorts, the biggest mistake is to put all your eggs in one basket or to chase that one big fish, because it'll wear you out. He talked about a friend of his who 
was fairly successful for many, many years, and he came across this one big, giant deal. And it took him two, three years, and he was still working on that one giant big deal. That's like a shark going and swimming the vast oceans and looking, instead of schools of fish, he's looking for that one giant fish that's going to feed him and his for eons. And Mr. Trump said to his friend, why are you investing all your time in this one project? He said, I always invest myself in multiple projects. This is what we talked about in the last video about multiple streams of income. You know, if you're investing all your time in one single company, then you have a one single stream of income. The average millionaire in America has at least seven streams of income. So what that means is sharks did not get where they got by just investing in one project. They have multiple projects going on at the same time. Mr. Trump said that I don't bite after every project. I'll have 10 projects that I'm actively engaged in negotiations and talks, and then I'll just, the stress is gone and it becomes fun. The stress for his friend was huge because he had one big project, three, four years were wrapped up in just developing that one project. This is why investing in private companies can become so much fun. You're not on Shark Tank and it's make or break for your one baby. No, you own a piece of multiple projects. Donald Trump said that he he, he's working on 10, he doesn't bite all 10. He picks the top three best projects out there that will make the most money, and that's what you see on Shark Tank. The sharks don't bite on every single project. In fact, a lot of times, they all just say, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I have to be out. And the guy goes home crying, <laughs> and that's okay. It's a, it's a safer way to invest in projects. So in the next video, I'm actually going to talk about uh, a strategy to invest in multiple projects, how you can create your own Shark Tank. Now, the third and last reason why uh, I think investing in private companies is so much fun. It's, it's awesome. You get to make a big difference. You get to be a big part of it. People actually know your name and they're thankful. When you invest in publicly traded stocks, it really looks like you're sitting in front of a computer at night clicking a button. Yay, I'm, a, I'm an owner. Woo! You don't get invited. In fact, you get inundated with emails and pamphlets and, you know, perspectives and quarterly reviews. And it's just not fun. You know, my favorite airline is Virgin Air. I invest in Virgin Air. But, you know, when I go on the internet, I found out afterwards of all the fun things that Richard Branson is doing, whether it's hot air balloons or there was recently, uh, not too long ago, he uh, went paragliding with a naked supermodel on his back, uh, you know, and he's always jet skiing and doing all these crazy things. As an investor in a publicly traded stocks, uh, do I get invited to Richard Branson's island? No way. <laughs> Right? In fact, I, I would venture to guess that the top thousand biggest investors, uh, only a small fraction ever get in, invited to Necker Island. Shark Tank, on the other hand, is a lot of fun. What do you see them doing? You see them going to ribbon cuttings. You see them opening up brand new locations and offices. And, and you see them involved in the life of the actual thing. Now, in, when I invest in privately held companies, it's not to that scale where we're opening up multiple cities, but it is, uh, I get invited to launch parties. When they toast people, they say my name. Recently I invested, I was a partial investor in a movie, and they put my company logo on the actual photo wall that all the celebrities and people walked through. That was awesome, and I walked there with my lovely chief operating officer for one of the, the third company that I started, and the lovely famous model. So it 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 doesn't suck. <laughs> uh, most people would look at my life and say, "Wow, you have uh, your your life looks busy, but uh, it looks pretty fun." Now, is it always that way? Absolutely not. But at least that's part of it. <laughs>
right? Is that part of your portfolio? Do you get invited to anything cool like yacht parties or, or uh, launch parties? I love helping a business and they're actually thankful, right? So in the next video, I'm going to talk about the third and last uh, reason why I love investing in private companies. And this is the most important. You're not going to want to miss this. I'm going to talk about how you can make the biggest difference. In the last video, I'm going to share with you guys a strategy that no matter where you are in the game, whether you're a baby shark or a big shark, or you're just a guppy thinking about becoming a baby shark, how you can actually get involved in one of the most prosperous, most uh, profitable things in America, which is the growing entrepreneurial market. Get a piece of that leverage. If you have only one stream of income, you will never be financially free. You will never be time free. The best way to do that is to have multiple streams of income and get started now. Don't wait until you get there. Now it's time to hear from you. I'd love to hear from you. Your Six Figure Mentor is all about helping you become the person you were always meant to be. And a lot of times that means helping you find or create the business and life that you love. So whether you are looking at investing in private companies and anywhere you're anywhere from being a baby shark to a full grown shark, or you're just a guppy looking to become a baby shark. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Let's say you're someone who's an entrepreneur and you've got a great idea for a business you just don't know how to execute, or you're looking for a mentor, or you're looking for investors. You'd love to meet some sharks. You'd love to partner with a shark, like on Shark Tank. I'd love to meet you as well. So reach out to me. Let's. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you like what you see, share and subscribe. Please do uh, write down in the comments or uh, go ahead and private message me on Facebook. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.